All right, what up, YouTube? Asian Persuasion here, here with my boy Slim. We're here at YCS Dallas, here with my boy. Got here Hello. in top 32. What's your name, bro? And what did you play? Nicholas Renegar. <laughs> he sounds so enthusiastic. So I played Spirals. No bro. way. Why? Is it like good? <laughs> it's the best deck. Oh, like, okay. Oh. Unfortunately. It's just oh, I thought like right. Moki Moki OTK was pretty yeah, good, but oh. Well. Uh, Keep going. <laughs> three agent. Uh, you actually have to play three this card because it's your second combo extender that you really just need in the deck. Uh, three drone and three quick fix. Who doesn't um, like to stack? Yeah, stacking your points is good. <laughs> Legally um, stack. Yeah, like these are just like your best cards. Just the nine. You want to see these cards every game, and you'll win. That's how you got top thirty-two. Yep. <laughs> Saw those. I lines. played uh, master plan. This card is actually really good. Um, I drew it quite a bit, it's like Tactom, but a lot of times you can like get it out of your hand with like this, your Dragon's Ravine, and you can just like big red it back and then keep comboing, so it's actually like not bad. Uh, and I played Sleeper, obviously, uh, he's like your win condition. And then I played uh, the last Spiral card, Last Resort, um, this card's actually terrible. <laughs> it goes from the best? No, it's, bad. It's, 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 it's very, very bad, but you can search it off this. And it allows you to potentially make the best card in the game, which is this. And then uh, something that people don't know and uh, actually comes up is set rotation. If they give you a gateway of chaos or oracle, oracle of Zephyra, if you have quick fix, you can normal summon the quick fix, uh, equip the last resort to it, and then last resort makes your monster attack directly by sending a card on your field of the grave. So you can send the oracle or gateway to get rid of it, and then you can like combo off. So people just don't know that. Yeah, so that's why it's not that good. But uh, other than that, the card's bad. Knowledge is power. <laughs> and then the last other thing other than hand traps was this guy. This card was insane. Um, I, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> it, it was really good. Really you like good. that over Gofu? Yeah, Gofu's very bad. Very bad. <laughs> <laughs> but both y'all talked. It's so bad. <laughs> and, and then uh, the hand traps I played is three Droll, one Crow, and one Maxi. Uh, I didn't main Ash. Uh, I didn't think Ash was good enough in the main, it didn't stop your opponent uh, to the point where you auto-win. So I only wanted to play cards that were defensive that gave you auto-win potential, uh, minus this card, this is the exception, because you can search it, but even then it's just still subpar. so I, I don't know if this will stay in the main, but um, it was really good. What? <laughs> uh, for spells, uh, 3 Resort, uh, 2 Ravine, and then the 3 Terraforming and 3 Set Rotation. Uh, like I said, I didn't play Gateway Chaos or anything like that. I wanted my deck to be as consistent as possible. Because uh, there's already a lot of cards in here that don't do anything. And I didn't value the uh, no field spell aspect with it. Because usually you're just using um, Ancient Fairy or your agent to pop their field spell. So it never really comes up. So these are just all your good combo extenders. Mm -hmm. uh, which is really good. Uh, then I played 3 Machine Duke. Um, this card is kind of weird because uh, a lot of people were really terrible. And <laughs> if they had the option between this and this, they would do this. And um, that's not right. <laughs> it, it's just not. Because if they ash this, you can't play. But if they ash you whenever you have this on board, if you have agent or a way to get to agent, you can still extend and get to sleeper, which is really good. Uh, but yeah, it didn't really matter. My opponents were all greedy and a lot of them got lucky. <laughs> we still got there. Um, I played one big red, I guess that's a little different, a lot of people play like two, but uh, you don't really want to draw this card, and you only need one to usually win the match. Uh, a couple times I used this card just to like bring back a monster so it couldn't die by battle, um, so that was pretty cool too. Uh, and then this is someone, no one did this, uh, I made Dark Hole and Regeki. Uh This is a last minute change, Friday night, uh, we were playing and Babuska, number 41, was like really hard to out if you didn't draw Machine Duke, and sometimes if you drew that, you still couldn't win. So we added these, and they were like fantastic all weekend. Probably the best choice I made. Uh, then one of us, Foolish, Wonderful One, and Soul Charge. Uh, still don't know how people aren't playing this card. It's not banned. Yet. <laughs> Yet. <laughs> uh, and then the traps, I played uh, one mission, and uh, one utility. I didn't play the spell or more of this, because it's a brick. Mm -hmm. uh, and a lot of the time, you don't need this to actually combo off. You're just being kind of greedy. Yeah. Um, and this card is just good because it's a win blast. It's a defensive card you can get when you get cherries. Yeah. 
I mean, two evenly matched. Hey. The first one of the weekend. Uh, um, this card was absurd. Uh, like I said, I didn't play Ash in my deck uh, because I only wanted cards that were going to give me the best chance of winning mm -hmm. going second. And this is the only card in the game right now, other than potentially Droll and Lockbird, that gives you the best chance of winning going second. Uh, yeah. So this sure. card was just absurd. Probably the best card in the game right now. How many cards in the game? It's 42. 42. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Cider extra. You can do whatever you want. Okay. So I played three double helix. Um, it comes up sometimes in like grind, but I cited Pot of Inquisitiveness, so I, I wanted to play this at three, so I could use that. And I played two proxy. This was wrong. This is wrong. <laughs> it was wrong. So should, there wasn't should, an ib? Well, it, it, I tested a lot, and um, a lot of times you would need the second proxy over the ib because of the attribute requirements yeah and um so i just played two but it never like came up but it should have been in my extra record. yeah so going forward i would change that uh, and then for the link threes i played decoded gaia uh this is kind of cool because it can get over like a lot of cards that are just kind of big and then this is just really good as well just protect your monsters when you get ashed or hand trapped mm -hmm. play two firewall Every game it comes up, usually. Uh, yeah, except for the links. Uh, for rank ones, I played a uh, Licorice. Is that what it's called? The DD Crow Circuit. Whatever. Did we Crow call it DD uh, Crow Boost? This card six. Yeah. is Crow insane. Boost six. Yeah, the card's good. Um, yeah. Cool. <laughs> uh, a lot of the time, you actually just don't need the extra rank one, but I still played this one. Uh, it came up a couple times, but. Honestly, I don't even know if I play this anymore. If, like, I play one of them, but not both. Uh, rank fours, I played Busca and Dweller. Uh, this is pretty obvious, but like this was good for like the Draco matchups. Or if you go first and uh, you know they're gonna like have an evenly match, or like you have like the read, sometimes you can just like make this with Sleeper or whatever, and then mm -hmm. they just can't play. So uh, it's good against Rogue decks too, like ABC and just Mermail or whatever. But it was good. And then the last cards I played were Ancient Fairy for the Distrito combos, and then I played uh, Black Rose. Uh, I definitely Black Rose someone like. I, I did it like four times. Yeah, Black Rose is golly. It was really good. It's probably how I won a lot of my matches. <laughs> uh, and then for the side, I played Three Reaper. Was it good? It's pretty good. <laughs> when my lying? opponent doesn't have Helix, it's pretty good. <laughs> I played Two Ash. Uh, it's good in the side because it's like. You just need a ma or like a massive amount of cards to just beat your opponent going second, but you can't main them all because if you go first, you get get dicked. Bad, <laughs> really bad. Yeah. I played two Gamma Seal. This was for Babuska and Masterpiece, but we never saw Masterpiece. Those, that deck doesn't exist. Not anymore. I played these cards. Ooh. So, yeah, the package. Uh, when you go first, you take out a lot of your hand traps and your going second cards, and you put these in because. These are outs to uh, evenly matched, so they can't banish your field. And then if they don't evenly match you, uh, you just vanish them. Yeah. Nice. And uh, I definitely drew this card more than any of those cards. I'm sure. And I said it, and every time I said it, someone popped it with agent. Wow. That felt good. <laughs> so that worked out. <laughs> so you happy? I uh, played two pot of inquisitiveness, uh, specifically just for cherries. But like, it's probably one of the best cards because uh, if you get cherries. Uh, it's good, but if you don't get cherries, you can just ignorantly use drone and quick fix and then just put it back and get a plus one. Yeah. And then the last card played is uh, evenly matched. Oh, right. Nice. Right. Really so good. shout outs, my friend. Shout outs. Um, we got that phone. I know you got it. Yeah. <laughs> I <laughs> ready. Forgot. So uh, shout outs to Ramiro, Jeremy, and Tyler. Hey. And uh, Billy Doe. Uh, I stayed with them and practiced with them a little bit. Um, shout out to everyone at Game Master Paco, Tim, Pedro, everyone who let me borrow cards. Uh, shout out to, what is it, Card Craze Gaming, my sponsors, <laughs> um, shout out to Brennan, they're awesome, uh, then lastly, shout out to Blake the Lowest McCrary, uh, he is my hey. favorite person in the world, best friend. We miss Blake, I have him all over my channel, bro. <laughs> <laughs> every, every time, he's literally the best person in the world, For uh, sure, man. shout out to him. What about your biggest fan, me, bro? I didn't even get a shout-out. <laughs> shout-out to Johnny. Hey! hey. hey. We, we made love. it, fam. Congrats, yeah, bro, and thanks for your tech profile. No problem. <laughs>